In this lesson, we'll solve some more problems by forming linear equations and solving them. For example, I owe my friend Jack 200 euro. I pay him back by giving him 50 euro now and then paying off the rest with six equal weekly payments. How much is each weekly payment? So first of all, let's name the variable. Let x be the amount of each weekly payment. in euro. So we have six weekly payments, so that's 6x plus the single payment of 50 euro, and that adds up to the total amount. So we've written the given information as an equation, and now all we have to do is solve that equation. So 6x plus 50 equals 200, we want to get the x terms on one side and the numerical terms on the other. So 6x equals 200. Bring the 50 over it becomes minus 50. So that's 6x equals 200 minus 50 is 150. Then dividing across by 6 we get x equals 25. So each weekly payment is 25 euro. So let's make sure we've answered the question and let's check our answer against the original problem statement. So we were asked how much is each weekly payment? Our answer is 25 euro. Now I originally owed my friend Jack 200 euro. I paid him off by giving him 50 euro and then six equal weekly payments. So we have 50 euro and 6 times 25 is 150. Add those together we get 200. So we have confidence that we have the right answer. Another example. There are 8 animals on a farm. Some are cows and some are ducks. In total they have 26 legs. How many ducks and how many cows are there? Well the first thing is to name the variable. So let x be the number of ducks. Then 8 minus x is the number of cows. Because we have 8 animals in total, take away the number of ducks leaves you with the number of cows. So what else do we know? Well, ducks have two legs. So in total there are two times x is the number of duck legs. Cows have four legs, so in total we have four times eight minus x cow legs. We're told that there's 26 legs in total on the farm, so we have two times x plus four times eight minus x is equal to 26. So now we have a linear equation with the variable x and all we need to do is solve that now and we'll find out what x is. So 2 brackets x, that's 2x plus 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times minus x is minus 4x. That's equal to 26. Let's group our like terms together. So we have 2x minus 4x equals 26 bring the 32 across it becomes minus 32. 2x minus 4x is minus 2x that's equal to minus 6. Let's get rid of the minus so we multiply across by minus 1 so we get 2x equals 6 and then finally we need to divide by 2 on both sides so 2x divided by 2 is x 6 divided by 2 is 3 so x equals 3 is the solution to that equation. And remember we said that x represents the number of ducks. And we said that 8 minus x was the number of cows. So 8 minus x is 8 minus 3, which is 5. So that's the number of cows. 
So we're saying we have three ducks and five cows. Let's make sure we've answered the question we were asked. Okay, so we were asked how many ducks and how many cows. So we think it's three ducks and five cows. And now let's see, does that answer make sense in terms of the original problem statements? There are eight animals on the farm. Three and five is eight. Does that make sense? Some are cows and some are ducks. So we have five cows, three ducks. In total, they have 26 legs. Well, five cows, five times four is 20. And ducks have two legs, so three times two is six. Add those together, we get 26. So that makes sense as well. So again, we have confidence that we have the right answer. So that's how we solve problems using linear equations. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next lesson.